Hello, and welcome to today's exploration about the rise of Chinese solar industry. China is overtaking Europe and America to not only become a key player, but also dominate the solar market. But will China continue to stay at the top of this industry? Come, let's find out in this video. Before we proceed further, if you're tuning into our content for the first time, don't forget to stay connected with us to enjoy all our latest updates. Now let's jump right into the topic. China has taken the world by storm with its dominance in the solar energy sector. A beacon of renewable energy, China has significantly amped up its manufacturing and installation of solar panels. In fact, it has surpassed the United States in the number of solar panels installed, a historic feat in itself. By 2026, China will have more than 80% of the world's solar manufacturing capacity. But China's ambitions don't stop there. The country is strategically focusing on renewable energy, with solar power being a key driver as a means to spur economic growth and reduce its dependence on energy imports. At the annual session of China's legislature this week, the Chinese Premier Li Keqiang announced plans to expedite the construction of solar panel farms, along with wind and hydroelectric projects. Furthermore, China has managed to reduce the wholesale prices of its panels, leading to an increase in exports of fully assembled solar panels and key components. This surge in solar energy production and exports underscores China's dominance in the global solar energy market. As China's economy faces challenges, the country is turning to emerging technologies. This is particularly evident in their focus on three new industries, solar panels, electric cars and lithium batteries. Chinese leaders are looking to these sectors to replace the old trio of traditional industries, clothing, furniture and appliances. This strategy is more than just an economic pivot. It's a bold attempt to breathe new life into the country's economy. In this new era, solar energy is taking center stage. China's increased investment in solar panel manufacturing and installation is a testament to this. The country is not only surpassing the United States in installations, but also driving down panel prices, making solar energy more accessible worldwide. But it's not just about leading the pack in renewable energy. This shift also aims to reduce China's reliance on energy imports, making the country more self-sufficient and resilient in the face of global economic uncertainties. This strategic shift towards emerging technologies like solar power reflects China's efforts to revitalize its economy and transition from traditional industries. Today, solar energy isn't just a source of power for China, it's a smart economic strategy for a more sustainable and secure future. As China ascends, Europe's solar industry confronts a surge of bankruptcy. A cascade of unfortunate events has inundated the European solar industry, culminating in a significant dependency on Chinese goods. In the previous summer, Norwegian Crystals, a key player in the European solar sector, declared bankruptcy. This constituted a significant setback for the industry. Another heavyweight in European solar, Meyer Berger, a Swiss corporation, proclaimed that it would cease operations at its German plant in the first half of March. The company is now in the process of securing funds to complete factories aimed at the US market. Such hurdles faced by European firms are casting a substantial impact on the solar industry. As the continent wrestles with these obstacles, the thriving nature of China's solar industry becomes increasingly evident. At present, China has established dominance over all facets of solar panel manufacturing, with South Korea tailing behind. As Europe grapples, the complexity of competing with China escalates. In addition to this, low electricity prices in China are a major factor in the country's dominance in the solar industry. You see, manufacturing the primary raw material for solar panels, polysilicon, is an energy-hungry process. In countries where electricity costs are high, this can be a significant barrier to entry. Take Europe, for example. With high electricity costs, particularly due to sanctions imposed on Russia, the manufacturing of polysilicon becomes an expensive endeavor. This price challenge, coupled with expensive solar farmland, has created a difficult environment for the solar industry to thrive. Now let's turn our attention to the southwestern United States. Their environmental concerns have presented a unique challenge impeding solar farm installations. This means that, despite having ample sunlight, the potential for solar energy generation in these regions remains untapped. 
In contrast, low electricity prices in China have allowed for cost-effective production of polysilicon and other components needed for solar panels. This advantage, combined with abundant and affordable land for solar farms, has bolstered China's position in the global solar market. In the race for solar dominance, low electricity prices in China make a big difference. China's cost advantage in producing solar panels is a key factor in its dominance. According to European Commission research, Chinese companies are estimated to produce solar panels at a cost between 16 to 18.9 cents per watt of generating capacity. In contrast, European and American companies face costs ranging from 24.3 to 30 cents per watt. This significant cost difference is due to a combination of factors, including lower labor costs, efficient production techniques, and governmental support. Ultimately, this cost advantage allows China to undercut competitors, making it the global leader in solar panel manufacturing. China's cost advantage in the solar industry is a formidable challenge for other countries. Chinese companies and their skilled workforce are a major factor in the country's dominance in the solar industry. These companies cleverly conduct the initial high-value stages of solar panel manufacturing within China, then export the components to overseas factories for final assembly. This strategy not only optimizes the process, but also allows shipments to bypass potential trade barriers like tariffs. Moreover, some of China's largest solar panel manufacturers are even establishing final assembly plants in the US. The expertise and knowledge required for this industry are concentrated predominantly in China, giving it a significant edge in the global solar market. Today, anyone attempting to produce solar panels outside of China may encounter potential delays in installing or repairing equipment. As Europe contemplates mirroring the United States' approach by implementing subsidies and import restrictions on solar products, the challenge of competing with China will persist globally. What are your thoughts on this matter? Join us in conversation at the comments below. Until next time, take care.